Clarity. How is Clayton doing taking the snaps? In the doing space? okay. Doing okay. Getting the job done right now. You know, got a lot of work to do, of course. But uh, he's doing fine. Uh, are there any concerns on your part, Sean, if you got to go with Clayton for the whole, whole game? What would I concern myself for? I mean, it's, you're going to play who you got to play. You can't worry about it. You got to go out there and prepare him to play his best. Hopefully he does well. You can't concern him. You know, you can't have much concerns. I just let it go. Sean, last year you guys were 13th in the SEC in large per carry. So far, so good in turning that around. Was it an offseason emphasis, and can you do anything about that other than say, let's just do what we do better? Are you talking about rushing the football? Yeah, yards per carry. Oh, uh, I think when you practice doing some things and uh, you continue to practice them over and over and over again, you get better and better at it. And uh, that's what we had to do in our, our preseason and our, in our camp. Uh, you know, we tried to establish a run and, and, and learn to block better, learn to run better, and, and get in better plays, so to speak. Uh, so, sure, you know, uh, we're trying to, trying to do that. Right now, so far, so good. We've got a lot of improvement to do. How much of yards per carry is just being able to throw in a long one like you were able to every now and then? I don't, I don't care about that. I mean, I look for wins. I mean, that's the bottom line. Get your job done, get out of there with a W, and, you know, try to improve on it. I, I couldn't even tell you what we average a yard per carry, and I really don't care. If it's Clay, I heard of Cody. I saw Cody practice today. Cody, Cody Gibson. Yeah, Cody Gibson practice today. Yeah, so how, how, how soon is he back to be back in the field in a, in a real game? A couple, he's back practicing. Week, he's week, back yeah. practicing today, so he could be out there Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I don't know. If it's Clayton and not uh, Cody, the chemistry did, did that would that change that at all? Did it? Certainly, chemistry changes anytime you you move a new guy in there. But uh, you know, uh, Clayton at. He's been in there practicing with these guys as well as uh, as Cody has, and you know Cody hasn't been around as long as as you think he has. I mean, he's only started one game, so there's not much chemistry built up with him uh, at all right now. So, you know, it, it's hard to tell. I'm sure we'll have some effect. We've got to, we've got to get the snap count and everything ironed out. But uh, once we do that, I think it'll be a comfortable transition, and hopefully it will. But you can't worry about it. You got to go out there and play. You got to play and. Uh, and try to do your, do your job. I think Georgia's had a lot of change in the defensive front from last year. What, what, do, you, what do you see in the, in the Clemson game tape from last set? Did they do anything different from what uh, they did here last year? They're a good, talented young bunch over there on defense. Uh, they got strong, athletic, young defensive linemen. Uh, they, they can get after you when they want to. Uh, they're going to be a challenge for us. I can tell you one thing. They, the team that you saw uh, this, this past weekend against Clemson won't be the team you see down there in Athens. I can assure you that. They know that, and we know that. And, Anybody standing around fooling themselves, they think they're going to show up twice like that. It's just crazy. Uh, we know what we're in for, and uh, we got a job to do. We got we got a tough job to do. It's going to be a challenge for us. Just hope for, hopefully we're up to it. Yeah. Did the line perform to your expectations? Hey, at some at some points they did, some points they didn't. You know, it's an up and down process for the first game. Pretty pleased. Uh, you know, I'm not overly excited right yet. We'll, we'll see five, six games into it. But right now we're one and zero. It's exactly where we want to be, and we're trying to get to two and zero. And I'll be pleased if we get to that. What was the biggest progress from, from a unit that got called soft by the head ball coach a few weeks ago and then to that performance you had where you had success against the Tar Heels? The Thursday biggest night. progress? Biggest well, just progress. what I said, we went out there and won the football game in a physical manner, I think. I think our running backs ran hard. Uh, there were times where you could see our offensive line push the pile and get after those guys defensively, and I was pleased to see that. You know, the offensive line, there's several guys up there. You to label a group as being soft, I don't know if you do that. Uh, there, there are certain situations that maybe in uh, Everybody's uh, group and maybe a soft time, but uh, we got a tough group. We got a tough group. And they must have come together really well on the one play, the uh, 80 yard, I'm sorry, 75 yard touchdown run by Mike Davis. You got some really good blocking on the inside because that was a all I know is everybody was on the man they were supposed to be. When that happens, it's typically a good thing. I appreciate it. I'm out of here. Thanks. See y'all.